Okay, so why am I standing on my back deck holding a 38 Super match pistol while dressed to go duck hunting? I'll get into that here in just a second. One of our most successful podcast, I'm not sure quite what the word is, Facebook posts, social media items that we've done, um, regarded something called the NIDAR 47 shotgun sight. And uh, the NIDAR 47 is one of their early versions of red dot sights. When most of us think of a red dot uh, competition pistol sight, we think of this. This is the, the original serendipity. Maybe not the, the original serendipity sight made by Seymour, but it's right in there. Uh, mounted on, a, on an old cart, uh, Caspian 38 Super. It's got the diode, projects the dot against the lens, the lens bounces it back to your eye, it's very compact and original, groundbreaking design, or so we thought. When in reality, it's actually very similar Da, 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 to the Night R47, brought to you circa 1949, marketed to duck hunters and people like me. The Night R47 has a projected dot, although it's not actually projected, it's just reflected. Instead of a diode that reflects a laser off the, off the inside of the lens, it just has a painted, uh, I think it's a ceramic painted uh, object inside a prism that you can see inside the dot. So this is a one-way mirror, it turns out, uh, or excuse me, what is referred to as a transparent mirror, so that it reflects things back at you, but you can still see through it. So as we'll show you in some still shots here in a minute, when you look through the NIDAR 47, it's an awful lot like looking through a Seymour, except there are no batteries involved, and the dot is white instead of red. So, which is wonderful, um, as long as you're shooting at something on a dark background. It's not so wonderful if you're trying to shoot at, say, a clay target or a duck flying through the, through the sky against a white background, because then all of a sudden your wonderful NIDAR 47 white gun sight becomes uh, nothing <laughs> against a white background. 